Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. Today we're gonna to be walking everyone through a little bit about the EMC Partner IMU MGS test system, as well as the CN EFT 1000. During today's video, we're gonna start with the IMU MGS. We're gonna walk through some of the connections both on the front side of the unit and the back side. Then we're gonna go ahead and start up the unit and modify some different testing parameters from the display. Then we're going to connect the IMU MGS to our control computer and we're going to power up the software. And then finally, we're going to walk through a little bit about the CN EFT 1000 capacitive coupling clamp. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's start with the front side of the IMU MGS. All right, here you're going to find the front side of the IMU MGS. Let's go ahead and start in the lower left hand corner where you'll see the power on button. Just to the right of that, you will see your USB connection as well as your auxiliary port connection. Just to the right of that, you will see a series of BNC connections. The final one of those BNC connections is going to be the BNC trigger output. Just to the right of the display, you'll see the play pause as well as the stop button. And then just below that, a rotary knob. Now working our way right, you will see the direct out for surge and you will see the low and high is indicated just below the um, surge label right there. Working our way right, you will see our EUT uh, power output. And then finally, you will see our direct output for EFT. So for our video today, we are gonna be including the CN EFT 1000 capacitive coupling clamp. So we are gonna use our SHV cable, making the connection from the front side of our IMU MGS to our capacitive coupling clamp. Okay, so that should just about wrap up the front side. Let's go ahead and turn the unit around and walk through the back side briefly. All right, here you're gonna find the back side of the IMU MGS. Let's go ahead and start from the left side of the unit. You will see your main supply. Just below the label right there, you will see a toggle switch, which is going to turn off and on the test system. Just below that, you'll see your mains power input. As you work your way right, you'll see your EUT Power 1 and EUT Power 2 inputs. During today's video, uh, we're using a unit which, can, which is configured for surge and EFT, so you will not typically need to use the EUT Power 2 input. However, uh, with different configurations, if you have yours configured for interruptions or some other testing, uh, some of those situations will require the EUT Power 2 inputs to be used. Just to the right of the EUT power inputs, you will see a control section. There, there's a couple different connections you can make if you need to, including the RS-485, as well as Ethernet and USB. Okay, so that should just about wrap up the backside of the IMU MGS. Let's go ahead and turn the unit around and take a look at the front panel of the display and modify some te different testing parameters. Here you're gonna find the front panel display for the IMU MGS. Now let's walk through briefly a little bit about the front panel and some of the different things you can modify from the display. In the upper left hand corner, click that menu right there. That's going to be your options menu. You have setups, sequences, reports, settings, extensions, and a few other options there. We're not going to modify any of this today, so we're just going to hit that X in the upper left hand corner. Excellent. So this is kind of the main starting page of the display. You will notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a power cable. If you select that, it will take you to the power control dropdown. As we mentioned previously, there are two power inputs on the back side of the IMU MGS. So if you wanted to use power input one, just go ahead and select that accident and it'll go green. All right, so let's close out of that menu real quick. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the different transients. Let's click on combination wave surge right there. And this is pretty straightforward. You have your level, time, synchronization, coupling, and then a measurement, um, measurement option there as well. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the time real quick. Here you'll find the number of pulses, repetition, and the trigger mode. And then let's take a look at synchronization. Mode, we have EUT power. We do have a synchronization ramp starting at zero and uh, have a step degree at 90%. Now, when you do want to modify some of these criteria, all you have to do is click on them and the menu will pop up. So let's say we want to start at 45 
hit OK. And you just see the, uh, the modification of that criteria change on the display right there. Okay, so that should just about sum it up for combination wave surges. Let's go back to the main menu. All you have to do to do that is hit that arrow in the upper right hand corner. Excellent. Now let's just take a brief look at electrical fast transients. And you see it's a very similar menu display. Uh, you got your level, time, synchronization, and coupling. Let's take a look at the, uh, the time real quick. Here you're gonna find the test time, burst duration, spike frequency and burst duration, as well as a couple other criteria you can modify if you need to. Just to the right of that, you'll see the synchronization and very similar uh, kind of display on the right, kind of showing what's going on. If you do change that from no to EUT power, you'll see the same um, degree and synchronization wrap options there. All right, so that should just about wrap it up with modifying some of the different criteria from the front panel display. Now let's go ahead Let's get our laptop plugged in and let's get the EMC Partner software booted up. Here you're going to find the TEMA 3000 software by EMC Partner. Now let's walk through a little bit about the software briefly. Along the left side, you'll see a couple different options. We have generator, single test, reports, sequence, DSO, and test library. So let's go ahead and take a look at test library. Here you're going to find a different series of standards that are available that are going to be pre-programmed in the TEMA 3000 software. Let's go ahead and take a look at the IEC 61000-4 series of tests today. All right, and let's go ahead and let's take a look at IEC 61000-4-5 since that's what we have our generator configured for. And this TEMA software, specifically the test library, is going to help you select the different criteria um, in relation to what the standard indicates. So it's going to ask you AC or DC power. Uh, let's go ahead and select AC and it's going to be single phase. And when you hit next here, it's going to take you to choose a test level. And here you can hit the drop down and you can select the different associated test levels. We're not going to be running any testing today. So let's go ahead and let's go back. Okay. And let's go ahead and go back to the main screen right here. Here you're going to find the IMU MGS we have already added to our TEMA 3000 software, and we have added the associated license code as well. So there's one more functionality we wanted to touch base on briefly with the TEMA 3000 software, and that's going to be the remote mode. That is going to be available just to the right of the EPOS online right here. Okay, here you're gonna find the remote mode for the IMU MGS. And just as it would imply, this is gonna be a direct reflection of what you would see on the display for the IMU MGS. So when you do modify this criteria on here, so let's say we modify that from 4,000 volts to 3,000 volts, you will see the associated change indicated on the display of the test generator. Here you're going to find the EMC Partner CN EFT1000. This capacitive coupling clamp can be used for both electrical fast transient testing as well as damped oscillatory wave tests. Just like a lot of other capacitive coupling clamps on the market, it does have the SHV connection right here, which will connect directly to the output uh, either from the EFT or the DOW outputs from the associated transient generator. This capacitive coupling clamp does have a soft cover, which you'll see on top, as opposed to the hard or metal covers, which are a little more common in the industry. We appreciate everyone's time as we've walked through a little bit about the IMU MGS, as well as the capacitive coupling clamp, the CNEFT1000. Uh, we hope it's been helpful as we've walked through the connections to the front and back side of the transient generator. We've walked through the display, as well as the control software, and then finally, uh, through the CN EFT 1000. Please keep us in mind if you're ever in need of any rental, EMC partner test equipment, or transient generators.